This world has been sundered by a tide of arcane energy. The winds of magic turned into a maelstrom. The Tome of Fate drew me north to find out why. It guided me to a distant fortress steeped in blood. A battle was fought there. Though long over, the spirit still lingered. In the shadow of a broken portal, the trail ended. It was here the tome conversed with the dead. They told of Urson, the bear god of Kislev, lost in darkness. A noble prince ventured to save him, yet he strayed from the path and was corrupted by chaos. Savior became executioner. A single shot bound in faith forsaken pierced Urson's heart. And so the bear god roared. The tide that broke the world. Spirits, where lies Urson now? Is he here, in the north? Beyond the Maelstrom, in the realm of chaos, on the Forge of Souls. Is he alive? Wounded and dying, embraces its shadow. What shadow? A demon's? A master of the dark. <laughs> I knew who shackled the bear. Bellacor. Only a fool would challenge Bellacor. And yet, the power of a dying god. There is no greater prize. A mere drop of Ursan's blood would break my curse, ending my servitude to this accursed book. Free to profit from its secrets. But Ursan is locked in the Forge of Souls, deep in the realm of chaos, and I cannot enter this nightmarish domain. All roots have been sealed by the Maelstrom. There must be a way. Ah, the tome unveils a spell to summon a portal. One to bypass the maelstrom and create a door into chaos. Knowledge to bargain, for I need an ally. One who is tempted by the power of the god bear and can withstand the horrors within. Grand Cathay, a vast empire to the east, ruled by powerful creatures, dragons, who can inhabit human form. You are gravely mistaken. We have no interest in a mere god's power. No interest in power to use against the forces of chaos? I am Yao Yi, the Storm Dragon. Older than the gods themselves. You are here for a greater purpose. This map shows the energy of all things. There should be harmony, but the world is unbalanced. My younger sister, Shen Tzu, bringer of light and hope. She ventured beyond the Norskan mountains but was lost. Without her, without her light, darkness prevails, and our family has no comfort. Though I feel your loss, the Tome of Fates provides no insight to your sister's whereabouts. Ursa knows he witnessed her fate. Then why does he not tell you, Iron Dragon? There is mistrust between dragons and gods. If we save Urson, he will tell us how to find Shen Tzu. Let me serve you, mighty dragons. 
I can reach Ursun. Lead you to him before it's too late. For one drop of his blood. Your destiny is to guide us. The armies of Cathay must breach the Maelstrom and march into chaos. Balance will be restored to the world when Shenzhou is returned to you. Our goal is clear. To find the lost sister, we must hear the God Bear's testament before he passes into myth. I am the anointed guardian of the Great Bastion. Any breach brings great dishonor upon me. So prove your worth, mortal. Yes, Great Matriarch. There is indeed a rupture in the Great Bastion. The forces of Tsinch invade through the ruins of the Snake Gate and have taken the Terracotta Graveyard. Further along, the Bastion remains under threat from the Changer's forces, or, as you know him, the dread power Chianchi. Yet, despite the enemy assaults, there remain brave defenders ever loyal to you. Bolster them, and they will gladly confederate with a revered dragon. You will need such allies, for it is on the other side of the wall where the threat is strongest. The eternal siege continues, for the dark powers are never sated. And there, the orchestrator of this woe, Kairos Fateweaver. Face this demonic oracle, lest he bring down the Bastion. Fate Weaver is insidious, and the invasion is only part of his plan. Rebellion festers in Nanyang's minds under the Changer's malign influence. Punishment must be swift to reinforce your authority. Before we can hope to take the fight into the Chaos Realms themselves, we must bring harmony back to Grand Cathay. There is much to do. Well, everyone, welcome to what we're calling this is Total War Histories. So currently, we are in the year turn one. And Mao Ying is just getting started with her campaign to hopefully unify Cafe and maintain the bastion but as the old geezer man has we said we already have a breach of the great bastion and the snake gate and currently uh, we're at war we with uh, a lot of people the there are two are rebel factions you have the rebel faction of uh i'm gonna say nanyang which is actually inside Mao Ying's starting faction. The... And then also the rebel faction that controls the, the Warpstone Desert. But... The storm dragon. I think Mao Ying can handle it. For the most part. As of right now, she also has a demonic incursion, as you can see up north, but for the most part, the Bastion is holding in the other two gates, but not so much at the Snake Gate. So it's up to Mao Ying to kind of balance this, where does she go after the Rebels first, or does she go restore the Bastion? <laughs> and then we obviously have the Car Caravel system, which I'm gonna mention this, but yeah, so it is an interesting turn one, mainly because just figuring out everything, don't really know anything about 
what's occurring. But. <laughs> Always a important decision where the caravan, 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 caravan must go. It's because you don't really know anything <clears throat> about the map. Really. Cafe is just starting to open up. I guess. But off we go. God damn it. Dispatch the fucking caravan. Christ sakes. There you go. There we go. Nice little button click. I think God sakes, my way. Uh, we also need to restore harmony as it is constantly said in the fucking game. And for the most part, yeah, I, I have a feeling it's gonna teeter back and forth between harmony, not harmony, harmony, not harmony, harmony, not harmony. But, you know, there is a benefit. There's a lot of benefits of being harmonious, but, yeah, I don't think it's too severe if you're not directly on harmony. The issue is probably when you uh, commit to one. I'm doing some mental math here, figuring out, well, what do I want to construct inside this fine city? The Emperor's chosen daughter. And so we confront the Fucking rebels of Nan Yang. And so, you know your we return positions. You know what you have to do. To the battle of the rebel lords, Nan Yang, attempting to assault the superior reign and manpower of Mao Yi. These brave. Peasant few. For some reason, charging directly into Kenpo. I don't understand this lord of Nang Yang attempting to do this. Oh, and here come the archers. These peasant few still charging. Superior force. But they must cl oh it appears oh, they have both spear units. Not even reaching the end of Mao Yang. And now Mao Yang has transformed into her mighty dragon as they well continue to fire. Taking some friendly fire there. I'm sure they will be reprimanded. And they are not. And it appears Mao Ying's cavalry has Turn coming through the woods honor. assaulted their archers. Oh. Now the enemy lord wishing he had maybe not rebelled. Fighting against the giant dragons. And it appears that he is either charging the line or running away. I don't quite understand. You have to commend. Oh, no, there it is. And you have to commend him. He got pretty close. He got within. Not that close to the line. But it appears his very tiny force has well. <laughs> Still running. Still running. But yep, still running. 
Yeah. Yeah. I don't quite know what this man was thinking when he assaulted this force. Or prepared to rail against one of the dragons, even though many of his kin constantly shout about how they only kneel to the dragon. Well, that fight. Pretty easily. Fortune can be woven. Pretty easily. Ready now we to got defend. feathers! Meow Ying. <laughs>